want to once again thank you for coming out to this announcement. I will now do my best to answer any additional questions or concerns you may have. Where's your underwear? <laughs> no time for games. Were you wearing your underwear? Is that a cod piece that you're wearing there, or is that all you? Next question. What's your policy towards Israel? Well, my policy towards Israel is... Pardon? Uh, naked is a metaphor for honest. What's your policy towards Israel, protecting Israel? Uh, well, my policy, as I said, will be designed to have the greatest nation, uh, the greatest national defense on earth. It will be to uh, work in our best interest to the degree that supporting inter the, to the degree that supporting in Israel is in our best interest. We will support Israel, but it will be based on America's best interest primarily. What are your thoughts on the Chilean miners who've been trapped on the ground for two months? Uh, Do you have some, any words of encouragement? Uh, God bless, hold on, and hopefully our, the greatest technology in the world that's in the United States will be able to pull them out if anybody can. Would you endorse Fruit of the Loom or Hanes? Uh, I've worn Fruit of the Looms my entire life. And, and it, it was just, that's what I wore. It's what my mother bought me when I was a little. Why do you recommend So in the meantime, are you just not going to perform at all? As you know, Naked Cowboy is a staple in Times Square. It's a worldwide global brain and an institution that millions of people from around the world travel to New York City to see every year. That is my business. That is independent of Robert Burke. I will handle that business as appropriate. I will, how I'm going to fund my campaign at this point, still in the, you know, putting that together, so that's yet to be determined. Once you defeat uh, Obama, will you allow him to perform as an Asian cowboy somewhere? Yes. That was not a Are you registered to vote? Yes, we did. Are you registered to vote? Yes, in Cincinnati, Ohio, as a Republican. Are you going to file petitions in all 50 states and be on the ballot? Uh, I'm, like they say, a lot of people when they start something out, they think they have to see how they're going to do it from the beginning to end, and that's why most people never get started. Yeah. My objective today was to, one, look at the landscape of the United States, see what I believe could and would correct the problems, coherently put it down into a platform, present it to the American people. Once again, I think the dinosaur establishment of the Republicans and the Democrats, you couldn't get an honest man in that position. I think the grassroots movement of the Tea Party is the only legitimate party that's generally coming up. And so I think that would be the best body of people to lead to Washington well, if you we'll truly want change. I'll do everything I can to do what's necessary to get into the office of the President of the United States in 2012. If Siamese twins who shared the same stomach went to eat at a restaurant, should they have to pay for one meal or two? Obviously, two. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. A cowboy. Much like myself and a lot of these people here. Are you shocked that so many people showed up for this nonsense? Absolutely not. It's not nonsense. Uh, unless you can, you know, people like, you know, everyone wants to say Washington's all, you know, corrupt and you can't possibly get in there without special interest. You know, in this country right now, there is a grassroots movement referred to the Tea Party. It is operating outside of the Republican and the Democratic structure. Everyone says they want to see change, and then when they see the grassroots movement, they all want to laugh and say, oh, you know, it's a big joke. Why do you make a joke out of it? Is your country a joke? Is, getting, is going to Washington and actually changing the system so that we don't have 60% of the uh, people that are receiving benefits and 40% are paying it? That people think that taxing the rich is somehow taking their money back? It's just ignorance. We, the system can be fixed, and the only way it can be fixed is for the actual people who are not politically associated and tied to a million special interests. That's the only way, and it's a big challenge. But I believe in America, I believe in capitalism, and I also know that myself personally, I spent 10 years here building a name, completely independent of all other things. I'm completely free to do anything I want. I got 24 hours a day at my disposal. I'm individually wealthy on my own now and I can dedicate myself to this cause and I am. And I think that the seriousness of all this only indicates that those variables are in fact correct. Uh, every one of them in the entire world will find out about it by the end of the day and they'll call me. I'm telling this is the first uh, issuance of that, but I think it's the only logical way that it could be conceived that a person like myself who has a great deal of notoriety and popularity could use a vehicle like this to get the attention of a grassroots wholesome party of true Americans that are not trying to 
infiltrate right back into the same system and be swayed by a Republican or a Democrat or become an appendage of one of those two. Once again, do you believe in America or do you just think going to be continue to be cynical and say that, oh, we got the best we can and continue to go on with what? How many billions of dollars in debt and the solution is to spend more money? This is Cindy Fox. This will be the first lady.